Today's video is sponsored by Uma Couture. Hi, I'm Federica from Italy and you're watching Tazi Fake. Today is another episode of Lurst Fay. It's where I, Tazzy Faye, tell you guys a story that's weird, interesting, funny, hmm, I don't know, on a Thursday. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the story, shall we? Okay, let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You know what? I don't like um, all this space up top. Let me move my camera a little bit. Okay. Um, excuse me, move your face. Okay. You know, my whole life, everyone has always been like, don't quit, mm, keep pushing, no, 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 no. Generally, people who quit something are really looked down upon if it's not like cigarettes or like drugs or like something that's really harmful to you. It's it's like you're a big loser, right? Like you couldn't, you couldn't stick in, you couldn't handle the pressure. But with this instance, I really do feel that I was just like really, it, I needed to quit. My preschool, my kindergarten, my elementary, and my middle school were all one school. It wasn't a very wealthy school, okay? We didn't have a lot of resources. I sometimes don't understand how it was even a school at that time. Keeping that in mind, you can only imagine uh, with so much funding, there really wasn't any sports teams or anything like that. My eighth grade class was about eight people and we used to play basketball together all the time. Now, let me help you understand the skill level of these eight people. We all sucked. When you have eight people who all suck and, and you only have those eight people to compare, this is four, this is not eight. Uh, but let's say you have eight people, right? And they're all really bad at something and they only have each other to compare themselves to. Me, me being like number four or five out of eight obviously makes me like, LeBron James, right? Like, cal if you do the calculations. So that's what I was in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, I am so good. Fast forward about a year or so, and I ended up going to a really, really nice school. It was a Catholic high school, it was private, it was very wealthy. Me being me, I was like, ball is life, okay, let me join the team. So they were holding basically like these open gym sessions where we kind of like practiced before tryouts, so we could kind of, you know, get back in shape and pick up our, um, skills that some of us may or may not have had. When I look back at it, I kind of feel sorry for myself a little bit because when I look back, I came from a completely different world and I also looked and dressed completely different from everybody at that school. Everyone was like in shorts and like, you know, bad basketball attire. And me, I was like fully covered from head to toe. And the thing that I still feel at this age, you know, still playing sports while wearing hijab is that when you are covered and you stand out on the field, let me tell you, the eyes just go straight to you. That can go about two ways. Either people are like, wow, that covered girl is really, really good, or wow, that covered girl really, really sucks. I can't take my eyes off of her suckiness. So I was self-conscious on that level as well, besides the fact that I had no basketball skills once. We were lining up for a five-man weave. As I'm getting closer and closer to the front of the line, I'm starting to panic because I have no idea how to do a five-man weave. I mean, I couldn't even dribble, so how would I, like, you know, dribble and figure out where to go? It was just too much for my brain. So I had to quickly think about how do I get out of this situation. My survival mode kicked in, you know? It was just like, boom, like I was in the middle of the wild and a lion was about to eat off my legs and I had to do something. So there was one girl in front of me, which meant that it was my turn next, and I was like, oh god, oh no. And I ran to the coach, and I just said the most brilliant excuse that made so much sense at the time. So I looked at him, I said, you know, Coach G, I just remembered right at this second that my mom, I have a doctor's appointment, and my mom is like outside. And he looked at me like, what are you talking about? It is like 6, 7 p.m. All doctor's offices are closed. And I feel like he could just feel the fear in my eyes. And he was confrizzled, you know, I could tell in his face. But it was like pity mixed in it, so he was like, okay. And I ran outside. I sat on the cement and I cried at my sadness of my inability to I sucked you know it just it hurt so bad that I sucked so bad the point of my story is not that like oh hey poor me oh I really suck at basketball <laughs> even though I quit basketball I didn't quit all sports I picked up a new sport that I had never played before lacrosse and although I became pretty average at it I wasn't like an amazing player I had my moments where I did really well I stuck with it and I still play it 
even now. My point being, even if you feel like a loser and you like give up on something because you're not feeling like you're good at it, doesn't mean you have to give up everything. You don't have to give up music because you're bad at singing. You can find something else to do. So that is the point. I hope you all enjoyed my story. If you didn't, I don't know what to tell you. Go subscribe to my other channel if you're interested in watching vlogs and other type of content. Go subscribe to my other channel, Tazzy For Real. Follow me on Snapchat, Tazzy Faye. The links for social media are down below, as well as an email address where you can send videos to. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Tazzy Faye, out.